Listen, I'm continuing with this mission to find the perfect book to beat any reading slump and I ask my favorite booktubers to come and help us do so and the results amaze me because in here you'll see their recommendations that I believe are unique, are great and hopefully they can help you out. I hope you enjoy it. Hello everyone, my name is Leonie, I'm from the channel The Book Leo and the book that I would recommend to get you out of a reading slump is one that I just finished and it really got me out of a reading slump and that is The Serpent and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. This is what I would describe as a fantasy romance, so it's a fantasy book with a very heavy focus on the romantic subplot. It takes place in a world of vampires, uh, but don't let that discourage you. It's really fun. And our main character, Araya, is a human that has been raised by the king of the vampires. The book is incredibly fast-paced and action-packed because the main plot is that Araya enters this battle royale style tournament where you have to go through multiple trials and the person who wins will gain a wish from the gods. And she strikes an allyship with one of the vampires named Rain, but the threat that only one of them can survive this tournament looms in the distance. This book is fantastic if you love a good chunk of romance in your fantasy books. I really like the mythical world building that focuses a lot on gods and people gaining power from the gods. And I can never resist a good trial tournament plotline, so if all those things sound like they're up your alley as well, you should read this book. Hey there, my name is Reagan and my channel is Peruse Project and the book that I would recommend to get you out of a reading slump would be Nettle and Bone by T. Kinfisher. I think this is a great pickup first and foremost because it's short. If you're struggling finishing a book, I think any type of short novel is always a good go-to, but on top of that this book is so endearing, charming, has a rather fast-paced plot as well. This story follows our main character who embarks on a quest to try to save her sister from a very dangerous marriage. Along the way she gathers help from very unlikely individuals including a bone witch, a fairy godmother, a demonic chicken, and a knight who's been trapped in fairyland. This unlikely crew of people creates such a fun camaraderie throughout the story. And the story itself is definitely sort of a reimagining and a modern update to a dark fairy tale. I love the plot. I love the characters. It will absolutely captivate you. And for a book that comes in a rather small package, it leaves a huge impact. Hello, my name is Christy Ann Jones, and I think the very best fantasy book to pull someone out of a reading slump is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. This is one of my favorite books of all time. I've recommended it to death to so many people. The reason why I think it's particularly brilliant for a reading slump is because it is a very short book. It isn't pure fantasy. It's not high fantasy. It is a magical realism book, but it is just brimming with beautiful, creepy magic. It is about a man in the UK. He's middle-aged. He comes back to the village where he grew up and he sees the house where he was a little boy where he lived during his childhood and he starts to remember these creepy and dark things that happened to him when he was about seven years old. And so most of the book is told from the perspective of his seven-year-old self and so it's a really interesting point of view. I think this book is so brilliantly written. It's my favorite of Neil Gaiman's adult works and I definitely recommend it if you love fantasy books and you're currently in a reading slump. Hello, I'm G and I'm here to recommend you a book that I think could possibly get you out of the reading slump. For me, the number one quality I look in a book is the cause of physical pain if you have to walk away from it. Something that will make me say no to sleep no matter how much I value and enjoy sleeping. There's literally very, very few things in life that I enjoy more. So if a book gets me to stay up all night, you know, it's a good one, at least for me. And it'll come to no surprise, just people who don't know me, but I'm gonna say Dark Matter. It's a book that I've stayed up all night reading until it was finished. I savored every little bit of it. It was great. It's about a physics professor who gets basically kidnapped out of his life and his wife looks like his wife, but it's not quite his wife. And his son was never born and it's about the lengths that a person will go to to get back to their previous life. And obviously it's about time nonsense, which is my favorite device in books to begin with. So I might be a little bit biased, but I do know that people who don't necessarily gravitate towards these books also had a good time with this. So I hope it's a good candidate and I hope you like it. Something that really works for me to be the reading slum is to read something that it's quick, that it's fast-paced, that it's light-hearted and that has a lot of funny elements. And for that, I cannot recommend enough Tress of the Emerald Sea. This is a standalone. It has also a great magic system with the world that it's fascinating and we will follow this very 
very charismatic character that is stressed and she will try and save her love and while doing so she will become a pirate will get to see an amazing animal companion and overall a very charismatic crew with great adventure the story is told under the point of view of Hoyt and it's very whimsical and fairy esque and it is at its core a very cozy and happy book books to read if you are in a reading slump now usually if you are in a reading slump then I also recommend picking up an old favorite or a relatively short book. Now, if you are struggling with reading, then I would highly recommend picking up the Pillars of Peace trilogy by Dom Dombrell. The first book in this trilogy is called The Look of the King. And if you're looking for a fast paced book that has great characters and has some really, really satisfying plot twists, then this is the series for you. All three books in this trilogy are around 200 to 300 pages. So you can literally read one book per day or week, depending on how fast you read. There are some really satisfying character arcs. And as I already mentioned, Tom Dombrell, he really knows how to write some really satisfying plot twists. Ooh, plot twist. Now, is this trilogy the next Game of Thrones? No, but it's not trying to be and it's just a really, really great time. I would highly recommend the series and I think most of you would really love it. My recommendation for getting out of a reading slump is the book that I was so afraid that I would hate and then I loved it so much that I couldn't put it down and that is Jade City by Fonda Lee. This book, as I said, is unputdownable. It's so different from anything else in fantasy. It's got so much action and stakes and tension and such interesting characters. There's just so much going on with it and it's so different and so page turning and so easy to read that I'm telling you, if you haven't read it, if you're like that last person, because I thought I was the last person, but if you're truly the last person that hasn't read Jade City, read Jade City. You'll be done with it in a day because you won't be able to put it down. Oh boy, do I have a book for you to get out of that freaking reading slump that you're in. Oh, hi, by the way, my name is Holly. I'm from Holly Hearts Books. Thank you so much for having me. But we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about Half a King by Joe Abercrombie. Honestly, if you've read this, we can be best friends. We follow Prince Harvey, who is born with a crippled hand, and he lives in a world that is full of warriors, so he has to navigate that. But his family is betrayed. I absolutely love this book. This book actually got me into adult fantasy, which is like all of my library. I highly recommend it. It's super easy to read and it was blurred by George R. R. Martin. So that's really cool. We're the guys at Tutor Ramble. Thanks so much for having us on. And since there's two of us, you get two recommendations to get out of your reading slump. Rich, what is your recommendation? Mine is The Emperor's Soul by Brandon Sanderson. I personally think that it's the best writing he has ever done. Ever. Ever. Stormlight. Better. Mistborn. Better. Lord of the Rings. That's not Sanderson. Oh, that, that that's right. This book is 130 pages you can read it in a single sitting and it is a wonderful use of magic systems i think it's his best one yet and i love the characters everything about this book is fantastic and you can read it in how long like three hours yes yeah, that's amazing now my recommendation to get out of your reading slump is the sword of kagan specifically because if you've been reading fantasy for a while and you've been in a slump it's been a while because you've seen the same tropes same characters it's getting boring and dull this is incredibly unique it was one of my favorite reads of 2023 so far you will cry if unless unless you're a robot you will cry and he even gave me a tear yeah and look at that man I cry looking at that man. That's the only thing I cry about. Please read this book. It will get you out of your slump because it has such a unique thing to add to fantasy. Thanks for having us on. All right, guys. I think we could all agree that reading slumps are the absolute worst. However, I have found that when I'm in a reading slump, I really gravitate towards books that immediately hook me. I want a book that is just going to drop me into a fantastical world that is filled with action and romance and dragons also really help. So Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros is the perfect book to get you out of a reading slump. If you're unfamiliar with the plot, we are following Violet Sorengale, and she has been raised to be a scribe. However, her general mother has other plans and informs Violet that she's actually going to compete to become a dragon writer. So this entire story is really just following Violet as she attends this dragon university where she has to compete in these deadly obstacles. Also, all of the other cadets are trying to kill each other, and there's also fire-breathing dragons that are very dangerous. So I immediately felt invested in this story. There is just so much going on. It is incredibly fast-paced, and I love this. This is very reminiscent of Hunger Games and Divergent and those books that are just nostalgic and immediately hook you. So I highly recommend, if you are in a reading slump, checking out Fourth Wing. 
All right, I'm Angela from Literature Science Alliance, and my recommendation for a fantasy book to get you out of a reading slump is The Library at Mount Char by Scott Hawkins. Mainly because when I'm in a rut, when I need something to help me remember I like reading again, I need something new. I need something crazy and wild that's a page turner with so much intrigue and mystery and also just like, what's happening here? That's something I'm always drawn to, and that is what you're going to find in The Library at Mount Char. It's a page turner. You don't know what's going on. It's completely messed up. Definitely check out content warnings if there are certain types of gore and gruesome scenes that don't work for you because that is in this book. But it's unlike anything I have read and I read it for the first time five years ago and I've been reading hundreds of books since and I still haven't read anything like it. And the week I picked it up was one of the best we reading weeks of that year. So highly recommend. Hope it helps you guys out. Hi, I'm Rachel, also known as A Model Who's Read, and I think the perfect fantasy book to get you out of any reading slump is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. If you've read the Shadow and Bone books, or you've watched the TV show, or even if you've read this book before, it doesn't matter. This book always hits. We are found family heist in a Russian-inspired fantasy world where our main characters are awful, and yet we love them anyway. <laughs> because there's multiple points of view, it's so easy to get sucked into everyone scheming and conniving and making plans behind everyone's backs. It's full of heart-pounding action sequences and longing glances and enough schematics that I'm just kind of nodding along because my brain does not work like that. But oh my gosh, it's so fun watching them break into an unbreakable building. Whether you're new to fantasy or you're a seasoned reader of the genre, Six of Crows just has that special something that will keep you flipping pages until the book is done. So you want to... <laughs> that reading slump, I got you. Try along the razor's edge. First of all, it's a relatively short book. If you're in a reading slump, you don't really want this huge tome. And the other thing is the audiobook for Along the Razor's Edge is this follows Eska, a young girl who was trained up to be a sorcerer for this huge war. However, in the prologue, they kind of lose the war and she is thrown into a prison called The Pit. This is told from a future Eska looking back on the events of her life. So this really gives an added aspect to this sort of storytelling promise of the places and the things we're going to see later on in the story and her ascent or descent, depending on how you look at it, to being given this moniker, the Corpse Queen. Great read, highly recommend. Hi, I'm Jessie from The Bookish Mom, and when I am in a rating slump, I go straight for the CW drama style YA fantasy. And I mean just dramatic, fun, light and fluffy, and heavy on the romance. So my recommendation that has pulled me out of a reading slump recently is The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. Now, I did not like the Mortal Instruments. I picked this up and loved the whole series. Like blew through them and as soon as I was done reading them, reading slump done, let me pick everything up. It's fun. It has the best love triangle I have ever seen in any fantasy book, just the way that it's done. And I typically don't like love triangles. So pick this series up if you're in a slump and just need like a fast, fun, super dramatic, kind of over the top YA fantasy read to pull you out of that slump. Hi friends, my name is Oran and I am just so happy to be here. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to Fun Fantasy Books for reaching out to me to participate in this video. And she asked me what I look for in a book when I'm trying to get out of out of a reading slump and the answer tends to be really easy for me and it's usually one of two kinds of books. One, it's like a comfort reread for me or I want to read something brand new that's really fast paced that's really just gonna like kick my reading slump in the butt and I have the perfect book for it. The book I chose to get out of a reading slump is The Blood Trials by N.E. Davenport. I wanted to pick The Blood Trials because it was one of my favorite fantasy reads of 2022 last year and the story takes off at breakneck speed and just doesn't let up until the very end, which is perfect if you are trying to get out of a reading slump. My go-to recommendation for a slump buster is the book that got me out of my last reading slump and that is The Legend of Black Jack by A.R. Witham. This is a fun, fast-paced story that has ninjas, pirates, knights, a magic rhino. It's good for all ages and has a great story of a boy who needs to use science and medicine to solve problems in this world of magic where the magic is failing. It's a fantastic audiobook for anyone who likes audiobooks and for those that like physically reading books, well the book even has pictures in it. 
which makes it go that much faster and that much more of an enjoyable read. So I hope none of you are in a reading slump, but if you do fall into one, this is a book I highly recommend picking up. Hello, my name is Becky from Bex Reads. Thank you, Issa, for wanting my recommendation for a fantasy book to be a reading slump. I am going to share with you A Nameless Witch by Ailey Martinez. This is such a quirky, fun adventure story about a witch with no name who is on a quest for revenge with her demon duck, her sentient broom, her troll friend, and her white knight who she's not sure if she wants to kiss or kill because she is a bit of a cannibal. This book had me laughing, the audiobook was really great, and I think if you like The Princess Bride, you would really enjoy this story as well. Ooh, so many great recommendations. Let me know down below if you have any other books that you would like to recommend to others so that hopefully we can all help each other to get out of a reading slump, and I cannot wait to see what recommendations you have. See you soon. Bye.